Delayed drilling has consistently demonstrated the potential to significantly reduce grass weed pressure. However, that in itself generates risk. But if autumn conditions become compromised, establishment could become patchy, or worse, not possible at all. In this series of trials by Nyab and Syngenta, we're investigating how growers can balance the conundrum of drilling date and integrated grass weed controls, utilizing hybrid barley variety vigor and DeFi-based herbicide programs. We're looking at how best to manage populations of ryegrass or blackgrass in viable crop production scenarios. Earlier, I caught up with Nyab weed biologist John Cousins to discuss this year's trial. From a purely grass weed management point of view, we encourage growers to really think about what's the optimum drilling date for a crop. Now obviously the detail of that choice is driven by a whole load of factors, what the weather is in the individual year, the soils you're working on, the weeds that you're challenged by, uh, your reversion to risk in itself. But what we've seen is how fantastic delaying the establishment of autumn crops can be as part of an IPM package for grass weed management. You're increasing that period between crops where grass weeds will germinate and can be destroyed before you establish the crop. And you're also increasing the effectiveness of the herbicides that you do use by establishing in the crop in the sort of conditions where herbicides will work particularly well. So all in all, that's been one of the key planks of any IPM strategy for grass weed management. So we're in year three of the trials at Corringham. And what would you say are the overall results so far? We've done these trials in both ryegrass and blackgrass, and I think that the key thing that we're finding is how powerful the idea of stacking up cultural control elements is, just as we've learned to stack up and combine herbicide chemistry. We started these trials off with this idea that there might be a trade-off, that in order to maximise the effect of crop competition through switching from a wheat into a barley, and in particular using the hybrid barley, we might have to trade that off against the drilling date effect that we, we know is so powerful for managing grass weeds. But what we've actually found is that there isn't a trade-off. You stack the effect of crop competition with the effect of uh, drilling date, and then you can add in crop protection products as well, of course. And that, that's how we maximise the effect of each of these individual elements as part of IPM. We combine them with others. So the trade-off concept has completely gone by the wayside. You mentioned crop competition. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? We've done a lot of work on crop competition over the years, starting perhaps with looking at differences between wheat varieties, which were found to be a little bit disappointing, should we say, in terms of their contribution, but also a little bit inconsistent in terms of which varieties perform best for suppressiveness. Seed rates has always been a massively positive factor, but comes with a downside in terms of managing the canopy that you can produce. But then of course Syngenta introduced the hybrid barley varieties and we immediately saw that first of all switching between species is always going to give you a much bigger weed suppressiveness change than any modification you can make within a species but plant for plant we've seen that these hybrid barleys these six row barleys outperform two rows there's a massive step change between the wheat and the barley and then the, the hybrid technology is just taking on a little bit further and that was perhaps the genesis of the trial that we're talking about today. We wanted to show how we can use that competitivity that comes as part of six row barley technology as part of an IPM strategy in these really challenging grass weed situations. Now, of course, part of that IPM package is always going to be herbicides, um, residual herbicides in the main in this kind of scenario where we've got a lot of herbicide resistance and actually one of the features when we start to look at very suppressive canopies that we get with barley and the six row barleys is that not only do you get a direct suppressiveness effect you get an increase in the apparent effectiveness of the herbicide that you apply because the canopy of the crop itself suppresses the regrowth of the weeds reduces the size of surviving plants the impact on head numbers is over and above the raw efficacy of the preempts. So again, it's all about stacking up these elements, about using crop suppressiveness. You're then maximizing the effectiveness of the herbicide and we can then combine that with drilling date without a trade-off. So we get very good suppressiveness, much higher herbicide performance. And then that we see the benefit of that six row hybrid technology is really sitting in there as one of those key tools. This season, combining both cultural controls and defy herbicide strategies, we've begun to pull out some really interesting and valuable indications 
both growers and agronomists. So behind me is the mid-October sown wheat plot with the untreated CP programme. And you can see already lodging is occurring due to the high amount of black grass within the plot. Now let's go and have a look at a plot with Defy in the herbicide programme. Here we have our first barley plot, which is a mid-October sown two-row barley, a full high input CP programme. As we heard from John earlier, barley is a more competitive cultivar than wheat. And as you can see in the plot behind me, when combined with the right CP programme, we can get pretty good results. Now, let's go and look at the good stuff. So here we are with a fantastic looking hybrid barley plot, which has also had the same high input CP program, the high rates of Defy used pre-M within it. And what we're seeing compared to the two row we've just seen is visually significantly less black grass heads, which is great, and overall much, much better control. Now this is down in part to the CP program, but also a big part of it is to do with the grass weed suppression that you get from hybrid barley. And you can see this in action right here. This trial has given us some really good pointers on how to manage grass weeds for this season. Delay drilling where farm situations permit, prioritize integrated strategies on the worst affected fields, use hybrid barley to maximize grass weed suppression on farm, increase defy application rates and adapt herbicide strategies to weed pressure. And of course, track and monitor weed populations over successive seasons. Now the trial's got a little left to run, and once we have the results, we'll publish them on our website.